Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, we're going to take a look at how to set up the Gmail inbox to work best for you on the Apple iPhone. Let's get straight into it. Remember, you can click on the sections below to jump straight to your particular area of interest. The first area we're going to look at is the inbox display density. This is just a way to control how dense or how well spaced out the emails appear in your inbox when displayed. Gmail offers three separate display options. To access these, we scroll down to the bottom of the navigation menu and choose the settings option. And if we click on the conversation list density option, you'll see the three options. Let's take a look at them now. When the inbox is first loaded, the default view is displayed. This is the most generous view with clear spacing between emails. The most dense view available is the compact view, where emails are tightly grouped and any additional images are removed from the display. The middle ground on these two options is the comfortable view, which looks to strike a balance between the level of information shown in the single page view and avoids impacting on the look and feel too much. It's very much a matter of personal preference as to which you prefer. I like the comfortable view as it offers a good balance between all three. I'm going to now move on to setting the inbox type. Gmail offers five different inbox views. You can choose your preference by scrolling to the bottom of the menu and choosing settings. If we then click on the Google ID and scroll down to the bottom of the settings page, you'll see the inbox views that are offered. Let's go through them each in turn to explain the differences. First up is the default inbox that you'll see when you first go into Gmail. In this view, no priority is given to incoming messages. They simply appear as they come into your inbox. Next, we'll look at the important first view. Gmail uses the indicators you give it to determine if emails are important, such as who you reply to in an email, which messages you open, or which messages you give a star or mark as important. You can also use stars to mark emails as important in order to train Gmail into adding emails to this important first category if this is your preferred view. The next view is pretty self-explanatory. Unread first simply shows any unread emails in your inbox ordered by the date and time they were received. Next is starred first. If a Gmail user has given a star to an email, Gmail prioritizes these above other emails and moves them to the top of your inbox. So the last area we're going to look at is the priority inbox. Now this one works slightly differently from the others. When we choose that option and we then go back to the menu, you see that we can choose which inboxes we wish to display. In this case, starred and important is already chosen. So let's choose on red. And if we go back to our inbox and click on the menu, you'll see that those three inboxes are now your priority inboxes over your existing inbox. The last feature that will help you to organize your inbox is the predetermined categories offered by Gmail. Gmail splits the mails coming into your inbox into five separate categories. To turn on these categories, we again go to the settings and click into the Google ID. And we scroll down to the bottom of the settings page to the categories option. The primary category contains emails from people you may know. This group also acts as a bit of a catch-all for any messages that don't appear in other tabs. Next up, we have social, which brings messages from social websites to the fore. Moving to the promotions category, this contains any deals or any promotional emails you may have received. The forums category shows those messages from online groups or discussion boards. And lastly, the updates category shows emails that include confirmations, receipts or bills. Back in the inbox, the individual categories are now displayed in the navigation menu. 
I do hope you found this woggle guide useful. If you have, please subscribe so that others can find it too. And if you have any questions on setting up the Gmail app on your iPhone, please share in the comment section below. Look after yourself until next time.